Hey everybody, this is Not a Spring Chick, and it happens to be Oscar week in Southern California. So this week, of course, not only are we covering gifting sweets and parties, but we're also, yeah, following cars all around. Because it, it certainly seems that the car manufacturers are definitely getting into the Oscars. Although, somebody did tell me that they think that the official car of the Oscars is the limousine. <laughs> Which actually is... It's going to be kind of true. Anyway, we're going to bring on Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, you wouldn't believe it, but with the media, you know, that the Republicans are going to destroy our nation. The Republicans are going to do this. The Republicans are responsible for the fall in the stock market. Republicans are responsible for sequester. The only problem is, is that this morning the Democrats who are, okay, a president of the United States is sending his people around. Well, we're going to have to, you're no longer going to have food processed in this country because of the Republicans. They're going to have to raise taxes on the wealthy mm -hmm. if you want to be able to eat. That. Well, you're not going to, we're going to have to shut down refineries because we're not going to have the people at EPA to go. So it's going to cost you more gas. So we're going to have to raise taxes on the Republicans. Mm -hmm. So, um, and the Democrats say you know, it's not going to happen. He said that, Bacchus this morning wanted to point out the fact that it was the President of the United States that dreamed up the term uh, sequester mm -hmm. and he blackmailed the Republicans into doing it in order to get an, in order to do it. So he said this is, while Congress isn't acting, this is all the fault of our President, which means they, when you start hurting the Democrats, they're going to pound it. Why they're doing nothing about Benghazi? They're going to use Benghazi to toss him out of office. Ah, and police review at LA clergy abuse files. Yeah, I mean that's <laughs> that they, uh, how many times have they went through those files? Well, yeah. They've got to know everything that's going on. I mean, I understand Mahoney now is uh, is basically all up and down over the uh, Catholic Church. They said they're making me a scapegoat because this is old material. They wanted me out so they could put somebody younger in that basically is better off handling the legal situations, not the job. He said, which is why the Pope said he decided to step yeah, down. He said we. He said we're here to represent God. We're not here to represent the church in a court of law. He said that's what their lawyers are for. That's right. That's right. That's right, Colonel. Um, not Colonel. Cardinal Mahoney. Yeah. <laughs> that is absolutely right. Stem cells created in 3D printer for the first time. I don't understand this 3D stuff. I mean, I, 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 I finally got an explanation on it, on it, what the 3D printer is doing. It basically is creating things hypothetically in 3D, but it's also creating things physically in 3D by using a special polymer laminate that they're using to create actual objects. But that's not a printer, folks. That's a stupid injection molder. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. And high-tech cargo airship being built in California. Uh, I know, but it's just never going to happen. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, the, uh, nobody wants to work in California. They're, well, we're going to give people incentives to work in California. We'll want to come here over other states because we're going to tax you for every person you hire. Mm -hmm. we're, going to we're going to increase the taxes on people to own the property. We're going to increase school taxes. We're going to increase this tax. We're going to increase that tax. And then if you decide to leave the state to go work elsewhere, we're going to charge you a state a tax for leaving the state. But that's, that's incentive for those people coming here. I, I know. And <laughs> California's Hispanic population projected to outnumber white in 2014. I wouldn't bet on it. Why? I, it I, seems like there's a lot of Latinos. There's a lot of Latinos. But, uh, oh, here, yeah, there's some going back to Mexico. Here is the scary thing for the President of the United States they did this morning. The Pew Institute is not exactly a right-wing organization. Mm -hmm. They did the study uh, and they found out the major uh, that basically the vast majority of people want them kicked out of the country. And they also have been saying, the thing was, they said, that, don't tell us what we can and can't do. We, that we're running the country, not Barack Obama and the Mexican lobby. They, they're fed up with them. So, and, you know, when, you, when the population gets fed up, See, what happened was Obama's leak to try to force the hand of Republicans totally backfired on him because when the people found out he's going to instantaneously give green cards to 11 million people with no, after they're granted, you don't need to do anything else, which means another 11 million people can be here tomorrow and he won't stop them. 
And the U.S. backs off goal of one million electric cars by 2015. Nobody wants Why to not? think. They, they oh. have no, you can't go anywhere with them. They're expensive because their estimation is, is that each one of the Chevy Volts cost the taxpayers $225,000. But they're saying, well, this, it, it, it will even out over the long run. Well, uh -huh. one of the people said, I've never seen a prototype of a car yeah, that cost that kind of money when it came off the shelf. It's just, it, it's, the, yeah. it doesn't work. You know, you can't go anywhere. Have you ever been, understand that you can drive more miles in traffic in the city of Los Angeles today than the cars are capable of driving. Mm -hmm. And cash, sexism, and violence keep women out of politics. Isn't that something? That sounds like it's part of it. That sounds sort of like the Chinese providence, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, which is sex, violence, and racism. Yeah, you know? I know. And, and I, I do like that the violence part keeps women out of politics. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, no, because they're, they intimidate, they're intimidating women not to run for office because they're, you know, uh, we, we don't think you can handle the rough and tumble of politics. Mm -hmm. Which is why most of the women in politics are, you know, they are real battle axes. These are women that basically can take a two before to you. Mm -hmm. They can look as petite as can be, but you don't want to turn your back on one of them because they know they're, they play the game. That, that, that's what it takes to succeed in politics. Yeah, well, it goes back to, um, uh, well, actually, I, I like to quote Orson Welles a lot because I took some, I took some master's classes when he was guest lecturing. He said, to survive in the entertainer industry, you have to have the 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 heart of a lion and the morals of a rattlesnake. Mm -hmm. That's the same way to be a female politician. You're dealing with people that don't want you there. I mean, I, yeah. I, we, I've met Danica Patrick. She's a nice woman. People criticize her because she she can she can basically roll in the dirt with the guys when it comes out. Mm -hmm. She basically will take you out if they take if they take her out. She'll take you out. Sony's PlayStation 4 reveal raises more questions than answers. Oh God! It, it turned out to be. They said it was. As everything that has been Sony, it turned into a nightmare. The stock lost, the company lost even more money mm -hmm. on because I, they think they have a backwards compatibility problem. Every time one of these companies designs something, it's designed by business people, not by engineers. The business people want to sell more products, so what they do is they fix it so you can't hook anything you had in the past up to it. Mm -hmm. And it's big, it's also big, it's expensive, and it came out at the wrong time. It should have came out before Christmas. And there's no sales, there's no market for it right now. And Supreme Court won't extend the 2010 immigration ruling. Mm -hmm. Obama, Obama got his butt kicked by his own people today. Uh, basically, uh, Kagan gave the thing on it. She said this was not meant, this was a single case. It was not meant to be a comprehensive ruling as the president has been trying to make it out to be. It was one case. It was meant for one case. It was not, uh, it was not for every illegal alien that's in the country. And they said that uh, it, they, they basically put a halt to it and they found out that ICE basically filed a, cr a criminal complaint against the president and his people because they were telling them, well, these people were unjust. They were not notified that if they were convicted, if they were charged with a crime and they admitted it, they would be deported. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they, they were told, they were given the Miranda rights, which basically said that you can, you can talk to an attorney. They said, well, the attorneys weren't notified. The attorneys are always notified, shut your mouth. That's mm -hmm. what they tell the clients. But then they lost it. One deal after another, they lost seven to two, seven to two. Every immigration thing, Obama lost on every single case before the court today. They blanket ruled against him seven to two. Only one that voted with him was Sotomayor on the Democratic Party side. And then um, Clarence Thomas voted on the other side because he said that uh, he, 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 he voted on and said that the, the, you, you either obey the law or you don't obey the law. And if the law is such, then you enforce it. You just don't simply cherry pick it. So, but but you know, it's funny having a conservative Republican on the side of the government because, you know, yeah, that's the way it works. But it was, they said it was a disastrous day because they, first he opens it up with the day with being told that three out of every um, let's see that three out of every four people that voted in the last election they asked him <coughs> fell by Emily Reagan they said ship their asses out of the country. And Sony's PlayStation 4 reveals raises more questions than answers. I know she likes that one because she Oh be, yeah, yeah, that's right. Well you know <laughs> no, because the court she, narrow scope of previous immigration ruling. Yeah. They, 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 I said we just talked about that <laughs> Oh yeah. I know man appears in court in airplane toddler slap case. Yeah. First of all, it's assault. 
You know, the kid, it had nothing to do with race. They got, they got a thing about crying kids on airplanes in theaters. They're not supposed to be doing it, and no one would stop it, so he let himself go, and, and, uh, and he'll go to jail for a long time. But he, the problem is, is that they applauded him for shutting the kid up. Oh, hmm. and a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, well, as we've been finding out, sometimes taking a step backwards actually moves you forward. <laughs>